Hi, I'm Katie, corporate chef of the Nordstrom Restaurant Division, here today to show you one of our most signature desserts, our white chocolate bread pudding with a little bit of a seasonal twist. First, we're gonna start with a nice crusty French baguette. I prefer sourdough, uh, but for this application, you want something with a little bit more of a neutral flavor. You're gonna cut your baguette into about 3 8 of an inch thick slices and place them into a bowl that will allow them to soak up the rich and delicious custard that we're going to make next. For the custard, we're gonna start by adding heavy cream, whole milk, and granulated sugar to a large sauce pot. We're gonna whisk this together over medium low flame. We want the sugar to dissolve and we don't want the pot to scald on the bottom. We're gonna bring it up to about 140 degrees. Now that our liquid has come to temperature and our sugar is completely dissolved, we're gonna turn off the heat and then add our white chocolate. We're gonna whisk in the white chocolate and keep stirring until it melts completely. Once the chocolate has melted, we're going to add our full eggs and egg yolks. We're gonna slowly drizzle these into the pot while whisking to control the temperature so that your eggs do not scramble. The larger ratio of yolks to eggs is what truly gives our bread pudding that silky texture and decadent flavor. And now we have our white chocolate custard which is the base for our traditional white chocolate bread pudding. We are going to add our seasonal twist by adding some pumpkin puree and some pumpkin spice into the custard. Once the mixture is combined, we are going to add it or pour it right over our sliced baguette. Now I'm just gonna gently toss it with my hands while slightly breaking up the bread so that the custard can really soak into the bread evenly while we let it sit at room temperature for about an hour to an hour and a half. While the bread was soaking, I prepared our pan with some nonstick spray. I also gave the bread and custard another little toss just to really make sure that the custard and the bread were soaking well. We're now going to pour this into our pan. And we're gonna spread the mixture evenly across the pan. We're gonna cover this with a sheet of parchment paper, gently pressing all along the edges to seal off the air. And then we're actually gonna allow this to set for another 30 minutes, again, to make sure that our bread and custard are fully absorbed and soaked. While that is setting, we're gonna get the temperature ready on the oven and we're gonna set it for 350 degrees. And now we're ready to bake our bread pudding. We've replaced the parchment paper with aluminum foil and placed the pan on a sheet tray inside of our 350 degree oven. We're gonna create a water bath by adding warm water to the pan so that it comes about halfway up the height of the sheet tray. The water bath creates moisture in the oven, preventing the custard from turning rubbery. We're gonna bake our bread pudding for about an hour and 15 minutes to an hour and a half, removing the aluminum foil with about 15 minutes left of baking. Our cooked bread pudding doesn't jiggle, and when we insert a toothpick into the center, it comes out clean. This holiday season, we will be introducing our friends and family meals program in all of our restaurants. This will give you the opportunity to serve some of our classic soups, signature salads and pastas, and seasonal desserts like these two items, in a larger family style format, perfect for any occasion. We hope you enjoy.